Hey readers, this week I'm going to be reading you some picture books. I picked my favorite author of picture books. His name is Mac Barnett. He has written books like The Skunk, Sam and Dave Dig a Hole, and my favorite Leo a, Go a Ghost Story. So let's get started with The Skunk by Mac Barnett and the art is by Patrick McDonald. Let me read you the back blurb. A skunk appears on a man's doorstep. The man leaves his house. The skunk pursues him. What does the skunk want? Where can the man hide? Where will it all lead? Find out in a slyly hilarious tale that brings together picture book luminaries, Mac Barnett and Patrick McDonald for the first time. You know, another thing that I love about picture books is that the pictures are just as important as the words when you are reading stories like this. When I left my house, there was a skunk on my doorstep. I kept very still. I did not want to startle him, but the skunk did not seem scared. Slowly and carefully, I backed away and started down the street. The skunk started right after me. We walked together a few blocks. I thought it was funny that a skunk and I could be going in the same direction. But after a mile, I realized I was being followed. When I sped up, the skunk sped up. When I slowed, the skunk slowed. I took many wild turns, and so did the skunk. I turned to the skunk. I asked, what do you want? The skunk did not answer. The skunk was a skunk. I bought the skunk an apple. I gave the skunk, no, I gave him a saucer of milk. I offered him my pocket watch. The skunk did not want any of these things. What would you do if a skunk was following you? This was ridiculous. I was wasting my time. I hailed a taxi and sped off down the avenue. The skunk took the next cab. Outside the opera house, I hid behind a shrub. The skunk did not see me crouching there. Success! I bounded up my steps and took my seat. I was relieved to find myself between a lady and a gray old officer. But then, of course, skunks can't buy tickets to the opera. The curtain rose and I smiled. In the middle of the first solo, the skunk came trotting down the aisle. He climbed up the lady's gown and took a seat on her head. She did not notice. She was very rapt. Excuse me, madam, I said, but there seems to be a skunk on your head. Hush, said the lady. This is my favorite part. So strange and so sad. I had to escape. I excused myself and hurried to out a fire exit. The skunk pursued me across the city. He followed me through the sculpture garden and the cemetery. I could not get away. I ran to the carnival and bought a ticket to the Ferris wheel. The skunk boarded the gondola after me. We rode around in gray circles. He was not getting any nearer, but he was not getting any farther away. I'll admit, that I began to panic. I ran past the wharf and turned down an alley. It was a dead end. The skunk walked toward me. Go away, skunk, I shouted, but the skunk came closer and closer. I lifted a manhole and climbed down into the sewer, the sewers. I hurried beneath the streets. Many times I paused to catch my breath. 
but never for long. I had to go on. When I came up, I was in a different part of the city. I found a new house. I bought new things. And, for the fir and on the first night, when I opened my bedroom door, guess who was waiting for me? Do you think it's the skunk? Nobody. I threw myself a party. I cooked a large dinner. People brought me gifts. After dessert, during the dancing, I thought about the skunk. What was he doing? Was he looking for me? Was he in back? Was he back in his burrow? Was he following somebody else? I left the party to find my skunk. He was not in the alley. He was not in the carnival. He was not beneath the city. I could not find him anywhere. I searched and searched. There was the skunk. I trailed him down the sidewalk, careful to remain hidden. I think I will keep an eye on him and make sure he does not follow me again. That's the end of the story. I love this story because at the end, I think this character, he realized he misses that skunk and how he was following him. This was The Skunk by Mac Barnett. I'm gonna read another Mac Barnett book to you tomorrow.